Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 11th through the 17th of June, 2023. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm gonna take a second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Cancer sign out there. So if it doesn't resonate, check your other signs and placements. See if those readings may resonate better and just always take what does resonate. Leave the rest for another Cancer sign. Also, keep in mind the, uh, the energies can reverse or flip-flop, so really just get in where you fit in if it is resonating. As always, Cancer, please don't try to force yourself into a reading that simply is not for you. All right, Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Cancer? All right, Cancer, you are starting out with the Nine of Wands. You have the chariot and you have the page of coins in the reverse. All right, so Cancer, um, I'm seeing you moving forward. I'm seeing that you um, have a lot of willpower and you're, you're looking to the future. You're looking forward to the future with anticipation of moving forward. You're doing this through sheer willpower because I can see you've been very hurt here. You're tired as heck over some situation, but you've been persevering through it. You're very determined and you have a lot of inner strength. So you know that you'll get through this, but there is definitely now this turning point where you're kind of looking to the future. Um, you're, you're very determined to move forward. Now, I am also seeing here with the page of coins in the reverse, there could be um, somebody that you have turned down or maybe somebody has rejected or turned down um, an offer of yours. Um, we'll see when we clarify. I do feel like there's something here that you don't know about as you're moving forward. You, you haven't done the homework. You haven't checked into something. So be careful with that. Um, I'm also seeing you not communicating with somebody or you maybe not, maybe they've sent you a text or something and you're not responding. Let's see who's in your energy. Tell me who is in Cancer's energy, please. I get a very determined um, air about you. And I don't know what it means, but I'm hearing I spy with my little eye. So I don't know why, but that's I'm hearing that. All right. So the person in your energy has a Knight of Swords. Ten of Cups. And in the reverse is the Empress. Interesting. This person has a poverty mindset. Um, it's almost like they they can never get enough. They can never be filled, as it were. Um, and it's because of that poverty mindset. I feel like this person may have um, been a bit disrespectful towards you in the past. Um, they want happiness. They want fulfillment and happiness. But I feel like... Um, they're somehow they're being driven through poverty. There's um, there's a lack mindset here. They could have had a, a financial loss, but there's there's a sense of being disrespectful. There's a sense of um, like their creativity has been dampened. Um, a constriction. There's something about a constriction here. Um, I'm also feeling like this person is not very nurturing. So they probably were, were, you know, they took, but they could never be filled and not completely anyway. And they weren't nurturing with regard to you or this connection. Um, with the Ten of Cups, they may be presenting themselves as being completely happy. I do feel that they're secure, but it's just never enough, you know. Um, and I'm also seeing here that they do want to communicate. They could communicate with you very impulsively. Um, but I'd be careful with that because it looks like it's going to cause 
a, a, a storm of some sort. It looks like it's going to cause um, some instability. But for them, not for you, um, this, this is somebody who I feel like um, they're not letting something go very easily. And it's going to lead to some very rash and harmful communication. So let's, uh, let's see the energy between the two of you. It's almost like this person may be picking a fight. I feel like they can be rather harsh, especially with their words. Queen of Wands. Yeah, there's a, some sort of action coming. There's a physical attraction between the two of you that's um, pretty strong. I feel like you're both really attractive people. You're both used to getting attention. But I feel like there's definitely passion here between the two of you. Um, and I feel like somebody's going to take action, too. So, that may be what you don't see coming. Um, let me see what's affecting this connection. For some of you, this person is failing to see you in the correct light. They're seeing you um, more as a um, fling or a, um, it's more like a fling or, or somebody they can play with versus you being the empress. Now, what's affecting the connection? Well, we have judgment. And we have the King of Swords reversed. So, let's see. We have we have um, fire signs. That would be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm seeing very strong Libra. Taurus is here. Um, Gemini and Aquarius is all here. I feel like uh, what's affecting the connection is you may have made a judgment call on this connection. And that judgment call would have been to move forward into your future um, for which you're making plans of. This is going to piss this person off. They're angry. They're they're very angry. And But your judgment call would have been made because of something to do with um, dishonesty. This person is not approaching in an honest manner. So there's they're not clear. They're um, possibly manipulative with their words. And there's a dishonesty about them. They may even try to convince you that they're very spiritually aware, but they're not. Um, and, but they sell that very well. And so a lot of people believe that. But this person's angry. They're angry because of the judgment call. Uh, they may feel you've ghosted them. Let's see... Um, but that's that determination that you have to move forward is why. And it's based upon things that you've seen. Ah, that's where that comes from. I spy with my little eye. Yeah, you spied something. You saw something, perhaps. All right, in your outcome, we have the strength card in reverse. And we have the two of swords in reverse. Yeah, you have no compassion for this person at this time. I feel like you're turning them down. Um, there's a decision that they're making, and it's based upon um, it's based upon the the lack of compassion that they're getting from you. So we'll clarify that and see what that is. But I see them making a decision, and I see you, you know, looking in your little purse to see how many. Um, cares, we'll say cares, <laughs> so that YouTube doesn't, like, censor me more, but um, you're looking in your little purse to see how many cares you give, and you're coming out with none. I have no more cares to give you. They, <laughs> they, um, they miss the boat. They are miscategorizing you. You are the empress, but they're failing to see it, and instead, they're, they're either trying to make you a third party, 
or they're trying to just keep this as a passionate affair. Um, it's going to lead to them making a decision at the end of the week, and you could care less. Um, at the bottom of the deck, it's the lovers in the reverse. So this is a likely a soulmate connection, and the two of you are not seeing eye to eye. I do see that there's been a breakup, um, and I'm seeing that uh, you're definitely not on the same page. That's the underlying energy here. So let's clarify, Cancer. Why is the Nine of Wands here? All right, we have the Knight of Swords. Now they have the Knight of Swords too, so there's gonna be a clash. And the Empress. <laughs> you're gonna tell this person a thing or two, and you're gonna let them know just exactly who you are. You are not the Queen of Wands, you're the effing Empress. You are all four queens rolled into one. So for them to just take one little aspect of who you are, which is the passionate nature that you are, that people are attracted to you, and to just lean on that as if you don't encompass the rest of it, oh, you're over it. And I don't feel like it's the first time this person has done that. I feel like it's a repeated pattern. So I see a big clash coming. I see that there's going to, you're they're gonna have something to say and you're gonna tell them a little bit about who you really are. In the meantime, you're sitting back and you're in receiving mode because you understand your value and your worth. You know you encompass all four queens. You're seated in your power and you basically rule your environment, but you're tired. And you're tired because of the BS that this person is putting you through. So you're going to have a little bit of something to say. And I feel like they, they will likely approach you first. And then you're going, to, you're going to let them hear it. All right. We have the Fool. And the Three of Swords reversed. So if this was third party, you're done with it. You're, you're not having it. Um, either way, you're healing. And you're looking into your future. You're looking for a new beginning, whether it's with yourself or with someone else. And you're ready to move forward. It's like you've just had enough. You've, you've had enough of this person not valuing you and not recognizing the value that you so clearly can see within yourself. But I have to tell you, Cancer, that, that in itself is a huge thing because a lot of people don't understand their own value. Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Now, see, between the two of you, it's in the upright. And you're saying, uh-uh, no, we're not doing that. You're not going to sit here and offer me this little tiny little piece and then try to make me into just your your little... Have, got a YouTube sensor. So, you're not going to make me into your plaything. And... No, I'm not having it. I want the Ace of Pentacles. I want the full thing. I want a stable, full relationship. And if I can't have it with you, I'm healing my energy because you obviously don't know who I am. And I'm out. I'm done. I've got a new beginning elsewhere. Some of you actually have somebody in mind and you're headed headlong into that. Now, let's... They're going to be so pissed too. All right. So, let's see their energy. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Why is the Knight of Swords here? Oh, okay. So they, they say they're the emperor, but they don't want to recognize you as the empress. All right. King of Wands reversed and the emperor. So this is somebody who is used to getting their way. They're used to, you know, running things basically. And I feel like they haven't been taking action there's almost a sense of this person is trying to put themselves above you. They're actually your ideal mate. And I know a lot of you don't want to hear that. But the two of you are ideally suited. It's the Empress and the Emperor. That's a divine couple. You have the soulmate card. But this person is way off base. Now, they are trying to come into their energy. Um, but they're, they, it's like they know who they are in this connection, but they're doing nothing about it. So while they're trying to come into their energy, I don't feel like they actually have. They may even recognize it, but they're not taking action on that. Um, 
this person is insecure is the truth of it. They're very insecure and they like get it to get attention. You both like the attention. So let's not lie here, Cancer. You both like the attention. And who doesn't, right? But this person is approaching it from an insecure standpoint. The King of Wands in reverse can really be a little bit of a jerk. They're not um, self-assured. They're very insecure. And they like to take their little wand and carry it all over different places. So they're trying to step into their emperor energy, but they're, <laughs> they, they dip down. It's their insecurities. It's their insecurities. And so instead of encompassing the divine connection that could be between the two of you, or actually is there, it's just not being acted upon by this person, they allow their insecurities to rule them. So... Now, they may approach you as if they're the emperor, but keep in mind that internally, they are the king of wands in reverse. So, it's almost like this person tries to put themselves above you somehow, like they're better than you, but it's coming out of a place of insecurity. All right, we have the five of cups. And we have the Page of Swords reversed. So this person is likely being very silent. They're probably presenting as if they're perfectly happy, but the truth of it is, is that they're actually very sad. Um, they're very sad and they have regrets. They have regrets for possibly not telling you everything or lying. And I feel like they're being very silent right now and they're going back over the past. They're looking at the past and trying to figure things out. Um, let's see why the Empress is in reverse. The Magician. And the Seven of Cups reversed. They know they've lost you. They know that you're moving forward. You're not on the same page with them. You're not investing. They're trying to manifest you back into their life. They're also trying to manifest abundance and they don't understand why it's not coming to them. Um, they're very impatient to, to manifest um, this abundance and it's not coming. They're wondering why, they're looking at it, they're trying to figure that out. Well, I can tell you if this is a divine couple, they're, they are not going to be able to manifest abundance with a karmic. So if they're involved with a karmic, they're not going to be able to do that. Spirit is not going to allow them to build that wealth and that um, abundance in a karmic relationship. So they're, they can wonder all they want, but the truth of it is they need to get over their insecurities. They need to step into their power here as the emperor, and they need to move away from karmic connections, regardless of what that is, whether it's another person, a situation, family, it, it can be anything. Um, because then their manifestations will begin to unfold. In a divine connection, you are, you are fated to, to be in that connection in order to reach your most optimal abundance. Now, I don't see that holding you back, Cancer, because you were willing, but this person is being held back by insecurities, and so that's leaving you no other choice than to move away from the pain, to heal yourself, and to move forward, whether it's for now or whether it's, you know, forever, but you can't allow yourself to be diminished, and they're choosing to diminish themselves. So, let's look at the connection. But that's why they're not able to create what it is that they're wanting. The Spirit's just never going to allow that. All right, we have the Eight of Coins. And we have the Four of Coins reversed. You're looking at all the details of this connection. Yeah, you're definitely looking at the details I feel like a lot of you are really kind of, uh, you know, taking that energy and putting it into work. You may have met this person through work in some fashion. 
either you work with them or you met them at a conference or, you know, you worked with each other or close to each other. I don't know, but there's something to do with work um, and this connection for some of you. I do feel like you're working on your money right now and it's paying off. Yeah. You, you've really, you've really put in a lot towards your abundance in your career and, and even your own self-worth. You've worked on yourself as well. And I see you continuing to do that. This person that you're dealing with here, um, they could even be a business owner or, and if they are, their business is not doing well right now. Um, they could also be a high level manager of some sort or be in charge of people. And if that's the case, I feel like they're not, they don't feel they get the respect that they deserve. I do see them trying to release this connection and let go. But I don't think they're going to be able to. And I think you're going to hear from them. Let's look at what's affecting the connection. The strength card. Six of coins reversed. And the three of cups. Yeah, this is an unbalanced connection. So this is what's affecting this. One person was giving way more than the other person. That looks like it was you, Cancer. It's an unbalanced connection. For some of you, there was third party energy and you put an end to that. You you put a stop to it. Um, I do feel that it took a lot of internal strength for you to make this judgment call to move forward and to have a new beginning either with someone else or even on your own. Part of you is really looking forward to that. And another part of you is just summoning up that strength to, to make this judgment call and to follow through with it. This person is angry. <laughs> they're angry and they're sitting in regret. They're pretending to be very happy, but it's a lie. They may be going out with friends and they may also be dating, but underlying it all is anger. They're very angry about the judgment call that you made. So let's look at your outcome. All right, so we have the Six of Wands. We have the Five, five of Swords. We have the Seven of Cups. And we have the Ten of Swords reversed. So you both want to win. There's something of a standoff here. There is definitely conflict. You're both <laughs> you're both standing your ground. You're both kind of in pride. Um, I have to tell you the truth when I see it, Cancer. You're both, you know, a little bit prideful here. You both want to win at all costs. No matter what, you both want to win. Um, I see that for you, because you have strength here in the upright, in the outcome, it's in the reverse. I feel like there might be something here that happens that's a bit confusing to you. And it causes you to waver a little bit uh, for some of you. I do see that you have a lot of options, though. You have a lot of options, and you're fielding those options. I don't see you really taking um, big action on any of them because none of them seem to really make you feel the passion that you felt for this person. Um Ultimately, I think you would if this person came to you correct and they offered you more than a pittance. If they offered you the Ace of Pentacles instead of this little page of Pentacles, I think you would you would rather have that. You're not feeling very enticed by any of the options that you have. None of them seem like strong candidates. And that's one of the reasons why I think that you're staying locked in this struggle with this person. Now, this person is wanting to recover from this situation. They've made the decision that they're going to heal from it. And some of them have made the decision that they want to heal the connection as well, which is going to be very confusing for you. Now, that being said, I don't see them actually investing in it, and I don't see them actually changing their ways. So they may be investing in, or not investing, but they may be manifesting a healing in the connection, 
but they're not taking the proper steps. They're not actually doing anything about it. And that lack of investment is what got you here to start with. And that's what's so confusing. So you're kind of locked into a power struggle with this person. Um, you're locked into a little bit of a power struggle with them and they're, they're angry, they're resentful. So, and you're just kind of, you're kind of like checking out all the options you have, which are many for a lot of you, but none of them make you feel quite the same way. And that's one of the reasons I feel like you're, you get a little confused and you get locked into this power struggle. All right, bottom of the deck is a three of wands. So that's the energy of waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for either this person to get their act together or for somebody new to come in who is going to sweep you off your feet. I feel like, Cancer, you're just ready for a change. So you're open to somebody new coming in, but they're going to have to be right for you. They're going to have to ignite that passion in you that this person did or, or more. Um... So let's uh let's pull an oracle card. All right, you have number 14. Now that condenses to a 5 and 5s are about change. So let's see what we've got. It says ride the wave. Right now success is easy and effortless. You can be assured that you're entering a time when you can ride the wave of abundance. And you are. You definitely are. The tide has turned and you can put your surfing skills to the test. Everything that you know, all your talents coupled with your hopes and dreams will carry you forward. People and circumstances have come out of the ocean of potential and possibility to take shape in a wave of spectacular activity. Know that you are definitely on the right path. Well, that's, that's uh, reassuring. And here's those people that are coming out, uh, you know, of that ocean of potential and possibility. You have so many options, but it is very reassuring, you know, hearing, know that you are definitely on the right path. So just keep moving along, Cancer. You're doing, you're doing actually great. So I think that you are. All right. I hope this has been helpful for you. If you have resonated with this, please hit that like button. If you haven't yet subscribed, I would be so grateful if you did. Um, until I see you guys in the next weekly reading or bi-weekly as I like to call it, namaste.